If you love Baltimore sports, you'll love WNST.net. Welcome. Last but not least here in the uh, main part of the competition, we welcome Tom Clayton onto the program. Tom, very nice job there uh, recruiting some Jimmy Buffett on a 65-degree day. Dude, you're wearing sandals. You're wearing your Oriole ball cap right now. You got the five-day growth going in the Argyle happening here. You look sort of like a skate punk on lacrosse going to an Orioles game, and uh, you look like you might have uh, stopped off at a UFC bout. I'm not sure. What's going on, Tom? Hey, nothing much. Just hang out, Nestor. How are you doing today? Absolutely uh, fantabulous because you guys are doing the show for me, and uh, I'm going out and sunning myself here today. So uh, tell us uh, your life story what brings you here Tom Clayton where are you from uh, don't make me play Joe Friday on you I'm from Perry Hall I went to Perry Hall I went to Perry Hall Elementary went to Perry Hall Middle uh, after that I went to Calvert Hall I've always loved sports all the halls all the halls it was all halls all, right. hall, all the time all hall all the time so. there you go all right now you're on the microphone all right I had to get up on the microphone yeah the Sorry, listeners guys. the listeners know when you're on and when you're not on but that's oh, okay. that's okay that's fine so uh, so you're a Perry Hall guy obviously Ravens or how old are you you look 28 like, yeah, you look like you're late 20s. I was going like to ask you, how old do I look? So you were 13 when the Ravens came to town. I was. So you, don't have, you have no recollection of the Colts. You're one of those nope. guys. Nope. And all you've really known in your adulthood since you hit puberty is a baseball team that sucks, basically. Yeah, I remember going in um, to the ALCS and getting beer thrown on me by Yankee fans. and I remember all that. Were you like in 10th grade then, right? Yeah, I was a kid. But the Yankee fans were still nice enough to throw beer on me before I could drink. It's almost getting so bad now. It's like an out-of-body experience. If the Orioles were to ever win... I would be so utterly shocked. You know, I mean, it's kind of like when the uh, the Arizona Cardinals went to the Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. You just you got to be shocked by that. If the Bengals make the playoffs, this has to shock you. If the Browns are ever any good, ever, it's going to shock people. Yeah, exactly. So, I mean, I am with the Orioles right now at 6-3. and three. We're kind of like hanging in. You've been joining the Orioles season so far? Oh, it's great. It's great. We're hitting the cover off the ball. Now we just need to get some pitching. You're wearing that Bobby Gritch, Merv Rettman hat. I like that. That's uh, <laughs> that's very, very old school. All right, so uh, how long have you been listening to NST? Probably about five years. All right, and uh, what, what brings you into the competition here? Well, initially I wanted to be a sports talk host. But then I saw that all of your prizes, a lot of them were for Royal Farm gift cards. Right. And I really love fried chicken. So no with that. King figured, subs. You got to go for the king subs. I figured as well. in the end, I'm probably not going to win a cruise, but at least I could get some chicken, maybe a biscuit. So you saying that you're going to suck? Is that your precursor for yourself? My you precursor think? is I'm probably going to be pretty awful. Really? Yes. So why do it then? Because I love it. I want to try. Your friends are, you know, listening right now. Oh, they're all, and all, they're all having a beer, getting ready to make fun of me. You, now, yeah, sure. you want to give a little shout out or anything like that? What's up, Nate and Sam? And and everybody else I'm out the there. first dude I've let give shout outs because you've been sitting in the lobby cracking jokes for an hour. You were trying, I mean, really trying hard to make Jerry feel at home. He looked like Peter King. Yeah, Jerry, Jerry. How looked, much did that cat look like Peter King, honestly? Looked, no, after you said it, he looked just, I thought it was Peter King for a while. Ray, that guy looked more like Peter King than Peter King, and I know Peter King. I could go to the ball game, put a red sock hat on that cat, and he, he will be doing Peter King. Seriously. Yeah. No, he looks just like him. It was ridiculous. What do I tell Peter? Peter's really going to get a kick out of that. But uh, All right, so uh, you're here. You're not in this to win it? Are you in it to win oh, it? Oh, I'm in it to win it. I'm absolutely in it to win it. All right, well, then I'm going to give you your opportunity to do that. All I right. appreciate it. Uh, ladies and gentlemen. If you love Baltimore sports, you'll love WNST.net.